to Pillow. My name is Emma and today I am filming a week in my life vlog. I am super excited to be starting on this vlog because I have been wanting to film it for the past month and each week Tuesday rolls around and I'm like, oh, I meant to vlog this week. And also the last time I did like a week in my life vlog, I was in grad school, I was at my internship. And so things are really different with me working full time now. So I'm excited to show you like now that I've settled into my new schedule, what my regular weeks are like. So today is Monday and on a normal Monday, I usually work 11 to seven in my New York City office at a dialectical behavioral therapy practice. But today, my two morning appointments canceled, so I don't have to be in until 3 p.m. I'm very excited about it. The only downside is that on my long 11 to 7 days, I do have a two-hour break at the moment. And now I am working straight 3 to 7. But, like, I'll survive. Life will be fine. The one thing that I absolutely have to remember today is I have to eat lunch before I leave. Because normally I bring lunch, but today because I don't have a break, I need to eat lunch before I leave and I'm just like not accustomed to this going in at 1 p.m. schedule. So I'm gonna make a real big point to have a nice meal before I catch my train into Manhattan. Oh my God, also I feel like I just have to mention for those of you that have followed this journey that today is the 12 year anniversary of the Midnight Beast posting their TikTok parody and I cannot believe that I have spent almost half my life obsessed with these three British men. Truthfully, it's not that surprising, but I'm just like, I still can't believe it. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I will check back in and we'll see how much time I have before I have to catch my train for today. So here is my OOTD for today. I have this really, really warm, like I think it might be too warm for today, blue sweater that I got from Target and I have these leather dad pants that I got from Hollister that are like my new favorite pants. I'm obsessed with them. So right now I am going to head to the train. I haven't done much today even though I had like the whole morning off because I'm the type of person where I'm like if I have something to do later I'm just like in wait mode until it's time for me to do that thing. But it's fine. I have a long train ride. I'm going to read a little bit, maybe do some work, and then I'll also have a little bit of extra time before I get to my office and have my first session of the day. very typical day into the city. I usually walk from Penn Station to my office because it's not too far and I always stop for Starbucks on the way. It is like my treat <laughs> for working in the office. Probably a bad habit but it makes me happy and it gets me through the day. Now a big part of my vlogs for a long time has been me getting Duncan and saying because a hoe loves Duncan. A hoe loves Duncan. Because I, a hoe, do indeed love Duncan. Because why? No, because the host was Duncan. But unfortunately, I don't love Duncan as much anymore. They have just burned me far too many times. I feel like every drink I get there that is not coffee still tastes like coffee and I don't understand why. So I have primarily switched to Starbucks and my typical Starbucks drink is a venti iced chai latte with oat milk and I always prefer the pumpkin cold sweet cream foam pumpkin cold foam, pumpkin sweet cream cold foam. So because my evening is packed and I work straight from three to seven, I am going to give you a quick little tour of my office before I jump into my first session of the day. So there's truly not much to show. This is the view from the door. This is the couch that my clients sit on and it is so comfortable. I am jealous that they get to sit on it. We have a bookshelf here with some DBT books. This is the desk where I sit and I usually do my telehealth sessions in the office from there and then if it's in person, I just flip the chair around so I can face them. And I have this really beautiful view staring at me all day long. So I love my office. I think it's really nice and I'm very happy to be here. <sighs> My day is over. I am sitting on this couch because it taunts me all day long and I never get to sit on this comfy couch. 
so I had a really good day. I don't normally do the back to back to back. Like I have not had like a single moment to myself since my first session started. I usually have at least 15 minutes in between sessions or I'll only do like one or two back to back before a break. So while I normally would just like rush out of here and catch a train, I haven't had any time to do my client notes in between sessions. So I'm going to be a responsible therapist and do them now before I go home so that I can go into my week not having any overdue notes. <laughs> but yeah, I had three individual sessions today. I got to meet a client in person who I've only worked with digitally, so that was really exciting. And then I did a like panel Q&A type thing with my grad program talking to some of the new students that are in the first year of my program and explained to them a little bit about like my time in the program and when I'm doing afterwards and I just really love being able to connect with people who are especially interested in my program but just interested in counseling in general and share my knowledge it's like one of my favorite things to talk about so yeah I am going to do those notes like a good therapist I put off my notes all the time everyone knows in my life that I am always avoiding doing my client notes but they are very very important so I'm going to get those done. Hopefully it won't take me too long. And then I will take my train home and I'm really excited to just like relax on the train home and not do work. So hopefully I'll be able to read. I haven't been reading on the train in a while because I'm always doing work. So I'm really excited to go home without any work to do tonight. trying to develop a practice of doing my night routine like as soon as I get home from the city because I feel like it really helps me like wash off the day. So I figured I would take you through my night routine which is primarily my skincare routine. So first I like to use the Panoxyl cleanser to wash my face. Then I have been using the Paula's Choice Exfoliating Toner which is the newest addition to my skincare routine and I really love it. I've been a big fan of the Sephora Vitamin C and E Serum, which is what I use next. And then I typically use either the Sephora Eye Cream or else the Coco Kind Eye Cream. And then my staple moisturizer is the Tony Moly Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Cream. I swear by this moisturizer, it is the best. And then at the end, I try to use my little Gua Sha Jade Face Massager, and that is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine other than brushing my teeth. Then I just had some chicken and pasta for dinner, and I finished off the night by finishing the book that I was reading. And now we're here. So it is 11.15. I definitely should be settling down for bed because while I normally work 12 30 to 8 on Tuesdays I had to switch around to have two morning appointments and I have to be in at 10 30 which means I have to take like an eight o'clock train so bed is probably a good idea I did finish all of us villains which is a book that I have been working on for a while and I definitely did not expect to finish it tonight but I'm glad I made some extra time for it because I really enjoyed reading it on the train. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on All of Us Villains, I would recommend watching my ranking books of 2021 video because although I had not finished it when I made that video, pretty much all of my thoughts are consistent. I will say that the last 100 pages of this book were very good. Like I really enjoyed it more than most of the beginning the majority of the book because there were some really good twists and turns and like we finally got some action so I really enjoyed the ending but overall it's definitely like a middle of the road book I feel like there's 
a lot of things that I would have changed about it, but it was good nonetheless, and I definitely will read the second book when it comes out. Bed is a good idea, but I'm just not feeling tired. So I have decided that I am just going to ride this reading wave to help me settle down for the night because it has been so long since I've had motivation to read in bed, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I have decided to read, or at least start, the Last House on Needless Street by Katriana Ward. And this book I actually got as a recommendation through Stefan from The Midnight Beast, my TMB bias, my baby, I love him so much. He posted about it saying that it was a really great book and I was like, yes daddy, anything you recommend, give it to me. But it's a thriller and the premise seemed really interesting. It seems pretty short, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I think. And now I will check in with you tomorrow. There's a person getting out of their car, and I don't want to vlog in front of them. Good morning, folks. It is Tuesday. Mistakes have been made. I did not go to sleep until 2 a.m. because I was scrolling, and then I had to wake up at 6. So I'm running on four hours of sleep, and I am rushing to my train. Additionally, my feet have been killing me because I accidentally walked 18,000 steps this weekend in one day. So my feet are very sore and I did not wear good shoes to be rushing to the train in. I see the train station, it's just a matter of getting to the other side before the gates come down. And I really hope I can do it because otherwise I'm a little screwed. Tom is waiting. We only got four minutes to make the train. Well, it has truly been a morning, folks. It is 10.30, it is definitely morning. I did make my train, thankfully, but as it turns out, I didn't need to make my train. I said I normally don't come in until 12.30, but I had two clients that wanted to do telehealth sessions this morning and both of them canceled. I am very lucky that I am a therapist who is paid by salary and not by session, so cancellations don't bother me at all. I'm just like, yay, more time to myself. But it is definitely frustrating when I don't get a cancellation until I'm like already on the train. Another wacky thing that happened this morning is I left my favorite black car cardigan on the train this morning. Honestly, it's not so much of a loss because it was really old and I needed a new one anyways. And with my cancellations, I actually had time to go pick up a new one. So this is the fit today. I got this sage green t-shirt dress from Cotton On and my new sheer text tights, which are my favorite tights. And then I bought this new black cardigan from Forever 21 that I like a lot. The only thing I don't love is I don't like when shirts have this little split at the bottom, but it's fine. I needed it, it's comfy, and that's the important thing. I'm also very proud of myself because I have a compulsive habit of when I need to buy something, I buy lots of things I don't need, and I did not buy anything extra at Forever 21. So I'm proud of myself. Stopped for my morning Starbucks, which I'm excited about, and I didn't have time to have breakfast this morning, so I actually started stopped at a bagel shop called Essa Bagel, which I really like. Well, I don't, I actually haven't eaten it yet, but I liked like the shop. It reminded me a lot of Long Island Bagel Cafe, if you're from Long Island, which I refer to and everyone in my town refers to as 2-4, because the one by us is open 24 hours. And they had a lot of unique cream cheese flavors, so I decided to try something new and get a pumpkin cream cheese. Mmm. Oh my god, that is so good. It was a good choice. I almost doubted it after I ordered it. It's very good. So I have just under two hours until my session start for today, which again, I'm happy about because I have some intake notes from last week that I have to do. And I haven't mentioned this on my channel yet, but I am the communications officer for an organization called Counselors for Social Justice. Our mission is all about spreading awareness of social justice issues and dismantling oppressive systems for counselors and our clients alike. And I'm really grateful to have this volunteer opportunity and like be the person running their social media and website. So I gotta create some posts for that today. So that's what I'm gonna do first and then dive into some of my intake notes and then I will have lots and lots of sessions today. So that is my to-do for today. Again, I pretty much go back to back to back except for my lunch break. So I'm not sure how much vlogging I'll get done, but I will check in after I eat my breakfast and do my CSJ work and maybe have some sessions. Hello, hello. So I've had a really good day so far. I had my morning sessions, I had supervision, and then I had my lunch break. And I even did my morning client notes on my lunch break. And I'm the type of person 
that likes to have a complete break for lunch like i like to just watch netflix eat and do nothing but i have been like really trying it's been like a goal of mine to like stop letting my client notes be late and overdue and i was feeling inspired to do it so that felt good and i did my csj work this morning so i'm feeling like on top of things now for the rest of the day i just have my dbt group which is next and then i have uh, my last session of the day and then i get to head home and have the evening to myself last day in the office for this week completed i am super excited to head home and i finished all my client notes for today i do i have not done any of those intakes from last week but i will figure it out i'm very excited to read on the train today because i did not read on the train on my way in so i'm going to do so and give myself a little break to decompress before heading home and then my last three days working this week are all telehealth so i get to work from home for the rest of the week which feels really nice hello good morning i am so tired today this is two not good sleep nights and i am not pleased about it i probably went to bed around one or two which is a little late especially because i am working and today is my long day normally i work 11 to 8 today i am working 10 to 8 and i usually have like a bi-weekly switch off in the middle of the day and this week is the week that i have the sessions and then i also have our weekly two-hour staff meeting which like isn't like a big deal for me i don't think i vlogged at all after getting out of the office last night and that's because i did not do anything i didn't do nothing i just didn't do the things that i wanted to do uh one thing that i did last night was i got the last part of jake's christmas present so what jake and i have decided to do for each other for christmas this year is i initially wanted us to exchange record players because like we both have a couple of vinyls and want a record player. And Jake is very much understandably picky when it comes to technology, especially music equipment, because he's a musician. So he was like, actually, like, I want a really expensive set. <laughs> so how about you just get me some vinyls for it instead? And he's getting me a record player and like maybe one or two vinyls. So as for what I did get Jake for Christmas, I've gotten him the Haley Williams, I think it's like a three LP set that she recently released on her website. It's not coming until March though. And Jake's birthday present also from October is not coming until March because I bought him a Telfar with bag security. So I was like, I gotta get him something to actually like open on Christmas. Like I'm not, I'm not doing this like delayed shipment type gift again. So I ended up getting him Plans by Death Cab for Cutie in vinyl, which is number one, Jake's favorite album of all time, and also like a very special album to our relationship. I think he's just gonna be ridiculously hyped that I got him Plans. And then I did get him one like surprise gift that I will like insert like a picture or a video clip of because at the Union Square Christmas markets, I saw this dude who was printing pictures of street musicians on vinyls, like as a wall art decor thing, and I saw this one of this guy who has glasses and plays the accordion, and I was like, wow, that's basically Jake. Uh, grilled cheese stresses me out, man. I don't know what it is. It feels like there is such a, like, perfect art to the timing of making the perfect grilled cheese and I have just not mastered it. So it makes me really, really anxious every time I try. So yeah, so then I ended up spending the majority of my night making my list of like the vinyls that I want in the future. And yes, I did absolutely nothing else with my night after that. <laughs> I don't know how this grilled cheese is gonna turn out and it's making me nervous. So yeah, and then this morning, I should have gotten up at eight because I like to give myself a full two hours. Right now it's 9.32, so I've got 30 minutes. <laughs> and I just realized that I forgot to take my medication last night. So I'm likely going to be having some brain saps today and it's just, it's not a good time. I'm not looking forward to today. I'm not looking forward to how tired I am and how long I have to work. I'm not looking forward to sitting in my very uncomfortable office chair that I ordered a new one and it was supposed to come between like the 14th and the 20th. 
and it's not here yet. Normally I like vlogs because vlogs encourage me to be like the best version of myself. Not because like I want to put something out on the internet that I'm not, but it inspires me to do the things I know I'm capable of and that make me happy. And today is not a day where I'm feeling very capable or very happy. But I think it's a good thing that, aww. Without fail, anytime my mother and I cook something, the fire alarm goes off. It's very annoying. But maybe it's a good thing that you all get to see that there is somebody who also goes to bed late and wakes up late and has difficult days. That is my hope by continuing and updating this vlog. My priority for this morning has been to make breakfast. So like I wanted to have like a good solid breakfast because I'm always rushing to eat breakfast in the last 10 minutes before my first session of the day. So I'm hoping this grilled cheese comes out good. And uh, because I am just in sessions all day, in, in, in session, one after the other, I'm not going to be vlogging a lot for sure, but I do have a lunch break at one o'clock that I'm really looking forward to. So like that is my first view on the horizon. Oh, I should flip you. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then tonight I never, ever, ever want to do anything after work on a Wednesday. Like I, <laughs> I have, seven sessions today and one two hour meeting. So come eight o'clock when I'm free, I don't wanna do anything. So I'm not going to do my client notes. I'm not going to edit a video. I probably won't even read cause that will be exhausting. I will probably just watch TV and relax. Oh, I really wanted to wash my hair today but I am not putting it on myself. So like we'll, we'll get to lunch break first and then we'll see what happens. Hello folks, it has been a long, long day. Every time I like reiterate and express to someone that I work like a 10 or 12 hour day on Wednesdays, I am just like, do I really? Like, is that actually what happens on my Wednesdays? My day was fine though. Like I do normally have like a cancellation on Wednesdays, at least one. So it like provides me some release, but I saw all of them today. But I mean, they were good. Like I very rarely have to say like my session was a disaster my session didn't go well so like that's a perk at least so i need to wash my hair tonight and like i'm definitely not going to do anything after that um so i figured i would talk to you while getting myself ready because my hair washing routine has gotten quite extensive over the years in the last couple of months i have like changed my hair products so much because i am always trying to keep this underneath a like gray color but it very very quickly fades to like a brassy like blonde that I do not like. So what I am currently trying out is I started using Olaplex um, because everyone says it's like the best and my hair is really damaged so that's what we do. So what I will do is after this has been on for like 10-15 minutes then I will usually add the purple shampoo on my dry hair because I feel like that has always made it like stay better than leaving it on wet hair in the shower. So yeah, it's gonna be a boring night. I did not realize how like empty this vlog would feel because so much of my day I can't record anymore. But I'm going to like shower and blow dry my hair and uh, just relax for the rest of the night. I also have to eat something. I'll probably do that before I go shower all this is sitting on my hair. In other news, I got this new robe from Kohl's and I love it. It is Lauren Conrad and I only just found out now because I was like, I'm not gonna fucking embarrass myself by saying this incorrectly, so let me check. But I, I just discovered that um, Lauren Conrad is not who plays Paige in Degrassi. I was very confident that Lauren Collins, who did play Paige in Degrassi, like grew up to be this like businesswoman with her own clothing line. Two totally different people. In other news, I finished watching Chrono Minds all 15 seasons for the second time just this year and the zillionth time in my life. And I am like, oh my God, like what the hell do I watch now? My heart is telling me Dance Moms because that's usually my cycle of rewatching is I watch some new things, I go back to Chrono Minds, then I'm like, I don't want to watch something new, so I rewatch Dance Moms, but I am like trying to break that cycle. That's something for me to figure out now. 
So I will do that and eat some food and shower and blow dry my hair and then I will check in. So my hair is blow dried, I am showered, I am ready for bed. It is just about midnight so I should definitely go to bed because I have to get up early tomorrow and go to an appointment with a new nurse practitioner. I'm hoping to get my medication evaluated and just like see if there are changes that we can make that could improve my mental health. So I am feeling hopeful and looking forward to that. And I actually have a really, really late day tomorrow. It is so, the shift between Wednesdays and Thursdays is wild. I had some cancellations, so I literally only have two appointments tomorrow, <laughs> which is great because I'll have extra time. In that time, I really want to edit a video. I have to edit the rest of this video tomorrow and I gotta catch up on notes. I am like hella behind on those intakes from last week and all of my notes from today. But I'm looking forward to a more relaxing day. Also, I have not found my next binge watch. Don't know what that'll be, but I decided to put on the new Doc Antle Tiger King series just because it's an easy watch. Um, so I don't know how long I'll stick with it, but we'll see. So good night and I will see you in the morning. Good morrow, my good folks. I don't even know if I'm using that correctly. It is 11.15 on Thursday, and this morning I went to my doctor's appointment, which I was hoping was going to be like a psychiatric nurse practitioner, because that's what like I asked for. And I'm gonna say it was low key a waste of time. It was not high key a waste of time. That extreme language is not very dialectical of me, but it was two hours of not what I went in for. <laughs> Ugh, I really want someone to just like fix all my problems um, and that's not possible and I know that as a therapist. <laughs> I essentially changed my primary care doctor which is like fine. I was probably due for like a new one anyways. I got a new physical and some blood work and I got some referrals of like other doctors I do need to go to. So that's why it wasn't a waste of time. It's just like not what I was looking for this morning. <laughs> so I have therapy in 30 minutes and I have a really light day. It is so light that I have to keep checking my schedule because I'm like there's no way I only have two sessions today. But yeah, I have one session at 1 and then one at 5.30 so I have lots of availability in between which feels really good. So on my way home from the doctor I stopped and got a bagel of course so I got my staple everything and the cream cheese that I love to get at 2.4 or Long Island Bagel Cafe is the bacon cheddar garlic cream cheese. It's so good. It makes a bagel feel like a full meal which like it is but it just feels like more of a meal. Um, also Zappos Voodoo Chips. Um, I was very afraid of these for a very long time because I thought that they were spicy and they are not spicy. They are just like amazingly seasoned. So they're the best chips ever and I always get them at 2-4 so that's a snack for later. And I also made my home chai latte which is just Planet Oat oat milk and Tazo chai latte. So I'm going to edit a little bit while finishing my breakfast and waiting for my therapy session. Then I am going to just like make myself look a little bit more presentable maybe. I don't know, maybe I won't because this week I am just tired and I don't care to put effort into my, my appearance. Then I'm definitely going to focus on editing and notes until my last session of the day and then I'll have an easy night and I'm done at 6.30 tonight, which is like, never happens. <laughs> Feeling good, looking good. Oh, also, they it took them like three times to get my veins and my blood work. I'm one of those people that like you, they can never find my veins ever at all. That's all. I'm really sorry. Like the vlog has not been as interesting as I wanted it to be. I just didn't realize like how much of my time is just my sessions. Tis all good things though. And I'm hoping to like get a little bit more vlogging done today as I have more time in my day. So I had my first session of the day. It went well. And right before my session, the pieces to my new chair came in and I am really, really excited to put this together because my current chair, I've just like, there's a dip in it now, it's old, it wasn't the best, and it's like not suitable for me to sit in and do all my telehealth sessions. I do a lot of my sessions from bed lately just because I can't sit there for really long. So I'm really excited to have like a new ergonomic chair that hopefully will give me like some more support and be comfortable. So we're gonna try and put it together. It seems a little bit more complicated than the like office chairs that I've put together in the past, but I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs>
What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. I did it, finally. It took me an hour, but I did it. There is one piece missing. It's like a plastic cover, it's not essential. Um, but the lines of where I need to put the little screw do not line up. Like, it's not a fault of mine, I swear, they do not line up. So I'm gonna try and have Jake help me when he comes over this weekend, but it feels so nice to have like a real chair. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> I definitely prefer the aesthetic of my old chair, but this one is much, much better for working from home and like sitting in for long periods of time, so I'm excited to use it. A lot of the themes are about like belonging and finding yourself and what family really means to you. And it was just great. It was all around great, entertaining, emotional, like really, really emotional in the best way. And it's fabulous. I love it. I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, so I just realized I have not updated you since like midday today. So my last session went fine. It was actually a session we did over the phone so like I was able to like sit in bed and relax for it which was nice. I don't like phone sessions at all though like I avoid them at all costs like I can never have a client that only does phone sessions. I need to like at least see you on video. After work I actually spent some time working on a presentation that I well, before the pandemic would do every year at my local high school for what they call human relations day and it's just like a day of like less classes and the students get to like hear stories and experiences from lots of different people whether it's like veterans or people with disabilities and since I was actually a student in high school like I started doing it at 17 I presented about my journey with my mental illnesses and my recovery and so I wasn't able to do it the last like year or two because of the pandemic so I am very excited that I get to do it again this year but I'm feeling good about it and excited to continue working on that then I ate some dinner and then I edited editing was brutal tonight god it's brutal out here I spent like three hours straight doing the most tedious parts of editing non-stop it was exhausting I literally like as I was doing the final watch through I like had to like brush my teeth wash my face do my skincare because I was like I can't just like lay here and stare at my computer anymore I just finished the video is exporting overnight and I do want to get up a little like extra early tomorrow before my sessions so that I can like finish up all the things that are needed and then tomorrow my fridays i get out earlier it is my earliest day that i'm done which is always something to look forward to i do have two more sessions than i normally have on fridays but like it's fine it'll all work out um i'm especially excited because i have the next two fridays off because of christmas eve and new year's eve so i'm very hyped to have like a four day work week for the rest of the year and then i won't have work all weekend Tomorrow though, gotta do these client notes. <laughs> but for now, it has been night. I am going to bed and I'm actually, I did brush my teeth, but I wanted a snack. So I got a um, hazelnut cheesecake from HelloFresh this week because I occasionally like to get their desserts because I think they're just like really yummy. Um, so I'm gonna eat that and watch the Criminal Minds. No, I finished Criminal Minds. I can't watch Criminal Minds. Ugh, I finished that Doc Antle Tiger King thing. It was fine, it was fine. Today, since I finished that, I've been watching like the Scientology series on Netflix. Um, I haven't been paying attention to it as much in this like the recent episodes I've been watching, but I don't think I will choose anything else for tonight. So we'll stick with it for now. Oh my gosh, and Jake is coming over tomorrow. I am so excited for my boyfriend Jake to come over tomorrow. I have been like counting down the days this week and I literally saw him on like Wednesday maybe. It like always feels like the first weeks of us dating where like we just spent the entire week like excited to see each other until it was the weekend and we could hang out. It like never ever stops. <sighs> okay, it's bedtime, good night. Good morning, it is Friday, my last work day of the week. So for today I had one morning session and then I had one no show, so I do have a little extra time for lunch today which is nice. And then I only have two more sessions with an hour in between and I have to do client notes today. <laughs> I did finish editing my video, it's all uploaded. You can go check out my tier ranking all of the books I've read in 2021 if you want to, it's in the description. I'm like 
feeling a little unmotivated to cook but I don't really have like any easy to make lunches right now. I could make a sandwich, but I'm just like, I'm more of like a full meal person. So I'm gonna go do that, listen to some Netflix while I cook, and then uh, maybe I'll have a little time for notes in between, but knowing myself, probably not. That'll probably be reserved for like my extra hour break and then after work today. <laughs> Happy Saturday. So I did not vlog after my last sessions last night because as soon as I was done with my last one, Jake came over and we immediately went to his mom's house and we just like hung out with her, had some dinner and we watched part of the like new Beatles thing on Disney Plus called Get Back. I am not a Beatles fan. Like I can recognize the impact they've had on music, but I just like would never listen to them myself it's just not my thing but it was definitely interesting and then we like came home and passed out but it is Saturday and I am heading to pole oh my god I literally a bird almost just flew into my windshield so obviously when the pandemic started my pole studio was closed and then as it opened up again I was still really busy with school and my internship and then work and so it had been like over a full year since the last time I had been to pole. And then last month I decided to like fully throw myself into it and I took one of their intensive courses, which is like three classes, three days in a row for two weeks. And it felt so good to be back. Like I did not realize how much I missed pole until I was back into it. It was really hard because as much as like my mind remembers how to do everything, my body and my strength is not there yet. So it's a very complicated experience right now. So today I booked two pole classes. I'm taking pole level one and pole level two, which I have not taken since before the pandemic. And I'm feeling a little nervous about pole level two. It's been pretty difficult because I used to be known like on YouTube and the social media world as well as my personal life as like the girl who does pole and like people thought it was cool and I was really proud of like how much effort I was putting into pole and no one really talks about what it's like when you have like a hobby that is a large part of your identity and for various reasons you like step away from it and you come back and things aren't the same. So I'm honestly feeling like really, really insecure about going to pole level two today. I feel confident in level one, but I do not have the strength to do like all of my tricks up the pole, which is what you learn in level two. So I'm feeling a little anxious about going. And when I got up this morning, I was like, I'm just gonna cancel level two. I'm just gonna do level one. But I figured like I'll go to pole one and usually even if I like can't do everything in pole like I usually feel pretty good like just being there like pole is such an amazing experience for me because it is like the only time in my life that I am completely separated from the outside world like I'm not on my phone I'm not worrying about anything else I'm super like mindful and engaged in the class that I'm taking and so it just it's like the only break that I get from the world so that always just makes me feel good and I feel good when I'm able to surprise myself and like make progress from where I last was so I'm gonna take level one and then depending on like how tired and sore I am and like how confident I'm feeling I might not do my level two class but I'm trying to push myself because even if I can't do all of the things and I am like the like least skilled in the class like that's how I'm going to get better and so plans for the rest of the day I'm gonna come home and get ready and then I have to do my damn client notes I actually did like a good good chunk of like my individual session notes but I still have those intakes from last week that are overdue now and I gotta get to them and I really want to finish all of the other notes from this week and then after that I have to pack because I'm spending most of next week at Jake's house and we are going to a party tonight like a little small gathering at one of his friend's apartments that he lives close by to so I'm looking forward to that and I'm just hoping that it'll be a good day so wish me luck in poll and if I get any good videos I will share them here
So I'm home from pole and I had a really good time. I did end up staying for both classes and so I'm just feeling good to know that I was working harder at a hobby that I love and that I am just like building up my strength again. I got all ready for a little Christmassy get lit party that we have later and Jake is out doing some Christmas shopping so I am going to take this time to catch up on those client notes. <laughs> I have two intakes from last week to do and intakes are like everything we learned about the client in the first session. So they take quite a long time but I'm gonna do my best to knock them out and then I have to pack for staying at Jake's for a couple of days for next week and then we will head into Brooklyn. Hello, YouTube. Hi. figured I would explain what exactly Jake and I are doing here because it looks like we're decorating a Christmas tree but it's not exactly a Christmas tree. Essentially Jake has for some godforsaken reason kept the trunk of his Christmas tree from last year. He like took all of the branches off to get it out of the house easily but then he just like sort of left his Christmas tree trunk on display for the entire year. And then when it came time to get a new Christmas tree for this year, with all of the like shipping delays and supply shortages, he could not find a Christmas tree no matter where he went. So he ended up taking the trunk from last year and wrapping wire all around it to make like branches. And so we decided to make this his Christmas tree. So we added all of the lights around it, we put on some ornaments, and then after we filmed, like the next day, he ended up putting garland around it, so it looked even more like an actual fake Christmas tree, and I'm really proud of the way it turned out. I think it was really, really cool, and this was definitely like a very Jake thing to do. 